communities in Ontario's north depend on their roadways, big and small, to keep them connected. So maintaining the infrastructure is crucial. We're just outside of Curtin Lake. It's uh, the MTO Rose Grove Modular Bridge Rehab Project. The projected service life of the old Blanche River Bridge is nearly up. Miller Northern has been tasked with its demolition and replacement. At the start of the project, you have a lot of submissions to put through as far as environmental measures and uh, safety, and etc. You have a lot of preliminary design that has to be done. This is a 15-day uh, road closure, and it took about three months of preparation. A major component in the success of this project is the preparatory work. The new concrete footings are being precast in the Miller Northern shop in New Lisgard. When the site is ready, the concrete will be trucked to site for placement. Today our guys uh, went on to remove the existing guide rail. They removed the existing bridge deck in order to reduce the overall weight of the bridge. And Mamut Crane just set up their 300-ton uh, crane, which they will use to lift this old Bailey Bridge out of place. Once this bridge is out of place, we are going to proceed with the installation of our coffer dams, and then proceed with the installation of our precast footings and uh, foundation members. So the lift went very well, as for now, uh, the old bridge is off to the side and tomorrow we will move on to phase two, which is the dewatering of the uh, abutments. In order to install the new bridge, the east and west abutments must be completely rebuilt. It's crucial that they line up and are tamped to the precise density specifications that the new connections demand. Give everybody an update of what's going on in the project. We, uh, we kind of locked out here because you can see the river level is pretty low. So we're standing on all the sheet piles that we're supposed to go in to make a coffer dam to be able to place all this granular material and the precast in the dry. So we got to be able to do this without using the sheet piles. So it's a game changer for us because now what happens is Mario and the crew can sit there and work the whole elevation raise and get everything ready for the footings without having to, uh, the incumbents of having the, the sheet piles around. So right now the guys are completing the backfill. Once that's degraded, they'll come into the front, tidy that up, and Thursday this week we'll be flying in the footing, which is the, the base of the bridge on the far side. The new bridge is being built on the west side of the river, precisely in line with the abutments, so it can be pulled straight across the river to meet up with the footing on the other side. So the second precast footing just arrived on site. We just took it off uh, the flatbed and we're getting ready for tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow we're going to install the footing in its final position and then we're going to launch the uh, aqua bridge. Uh, with the 400 ton crane. The final footing is craned into place, and then it's the bridge's turn. All right, so what we're gonna do is as this comes across, we're gonna cantilever about 15 or 18 meters until it starts to teeter. The crane is going to hook onto it and the crane will support the weight moving across the lift. This is what you call a crane assist roller launch. Just make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. But just yell stop if it comes off. Clear!
precision, care. It is a painstaking process, requiring the skills of engineers and high-wire circus performers. Okay, we're gonna creep it out. On your side, we're gonna start taking it. And he's gotta watch that scale, okay? And he's gotta sound his horn if he starts taking too much weight and we'll stop. Pretty clear? Okay, let's go. Stop him at the chamfer there, Mario, at the end before we go off, okay? And I'll see how much weight he's got. You good? Rock, what's his weight? We're at 25. He said he'd keep it coming. The site-built bridge has to line up perfectly with the pieces that were poured in the factory the slightest wind or wobble could push it out of line. He has the 50 now. Okay, see if he can take a little bit more so we can straighten out these two rollers. You good? Okay, everybody hands clear. Mario, take it down. Yeah, let's go. All right, so you can see that we got the bridge uh, all the way across. As it creeps across with the crane and pushing with the excavator, what's happened is we got two inches a little too far one way. So what we did is we just jacked it back over here. So now we're gonna drill in the bearing plates, bolt them down, pull this back over top of it, lower her down into place. Yeah, so we just uh, finished setting the bridge down on the bearings. We started with the west side, just finished with the east side. Next up, we're gonna form the ballast walls, uh, pour the ballast walls, and then place both approach slabs finish up with uh, asphalt and guide rails, and then uh, the timber deck on the bridge itself. So as you guys can see, we're just finishing up here. We're cleaning all this up and we're tidying up the road to make sure the municipality is extremely happy with Miller and the group of guys that were out here doing this project. Rural bridges like the one on Rosegrove Road get the important upgrades that they need courtesy of our provincial government, just like the major highways in the rest of the province. But it's the experience that Miller Northern and their team of dedicated professionals brings to the table that makes sure the job is done to the highest standards. With major infrastructure projects slated for Ontario's north, it's reassuring to know that Miller Northern is ready and up to the challenge.